Hey guys, I wanted to make a really quick video before I went to work today because I was talking with Zach earlier and he found some interesting things on Twitter that he sent me screenshots of. The first one is a screenshot of a tweet that Billy Harper sent out four hours ago today. He says, working on games is pretty much the best thing ever, which isn't really specific, you know, it's just kind of ambiguous. He's like, hey, I love working on games, you know? And then Zach comes back with, oh, stop teasing me. Is it Infamous or a new IP? Only time will tell. So I thought that was pretty interesting that Billy is talking about games again, since he works at Sucker Punch. I mean, he's the emotion capture director. He is in charge of all of the motion capture and the facial expressions and all that stuff. If he's talking about games, Sucker Punch is obviously working on something, we know that, they have been for the last two years. But the question is, what is it? Is it a new Infamous title? Is it a new IP? Remember, before Second Son was announced, we thought they were going to completely switch titles and make something new, and then lo and behold, we got another Infamous game, so it's quite possible we could get a sequel. And I have a video that I'm making right now about a potential sequel to Second Son, and I am very, very excited for this video. I promise you guys, it's going to be a big one, and it's going to be worth your time. You do not want to miss this. Speaking of that video, I'll give you a tiny hint as to what it's going to be about. I replied to Billy Harper's tweet myself, and I said, Oh hey Billy, I've been reading those manga comics you guys slipped in Paper Trail. I think I'm onto something. I left this response because I wanted to drop a small hint that I was working on a theory for a new Infamous game. I did not expect any kind of response or reply from Billy, but I got something that surprised me. Just a few minutes after posting that response, I got a notification that Billy Harper himself liked that specific tweet. Some of you are probably thinking, Ian, he liked your tweet, so what, it doesn't matter. I disagree, it does matter, because I'm going to show you the entire conversation here. There was a bunch of other responses that he did not favorite or like. I don't know why they had to change it to like, I preferred it when it was favorite, but whatever, that's semantics. So you can see right here, my tweet and this other tweet from a guy named Randall were the only two that were favorited, and mine is the only tweet referencing a story arc or a plot point in the infamous storyline. I do believe that Billy liking my tweet is sort of like a signal that I am looking in the right place and I might indeed be onto something. But only time will tell, and if you guys want to see what my theory is, stay tuned because once again, you are going to want to see this video. This is an absolute must watch. Especially if you are a fan of the series and you're excited for the next game like I am. And now we're going to move on to the final and what I believe is the most interesting screenshot that Zach sent me. We have a tweet by Eric Layden, who was the voice actor for Cole in Infamous 2. And he says, I needed some extra power today, so I got Cole McGrath to watch over my voiceover booth. Hashtag Infamous 2 at Game Over Greggy. Now, of course, Game Over Greggy is Greg Miller, former IGN host and now uh, part of Kinda Funny Games with Colin Moriarty and a bunch of other guys that left IGN. We both know that Colin and Greg are huge PlayStation fans and they love Infamous. They actually covered the infamous Second Son gameplay demo back when they were still on IGN. Now what's interesting about this is that not only do we have Billy who tweeted four hours ago and said making games is pretty much the best thing ever, but two hours later we have Eric Layden tweeting about how he needs some extra quote-unquote power, and he put the Cole McGrath statue over his voiceover booth, which means he is voice acting for something we don't know what yet. However, I think I may have a rough idea of what this might be. This could just be, you know, complete fun and games. Eric might have posted that picture because he thought it was funny, or maybe Billy said he liked working on games because they're doing something really cool in the emotion capture department. But just in case this isn't fun and games and they are hinting towards something, this is what I think it is. So there's one of two things that could be going on here. The first thing is they could be making a remastered collection of the first three games. They better include Festival of Blood, because if they don't, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I've always wanted to play those games on the PS4, so that would be exciting. The only bad thing is Sucker Punch has tweeted about this before. I don't know if it was their official Twitter, or maybe it was Brian Fleming, or... Billy or Nate Fox, I don't know, someone <laughs> someone from Sucker Punch tweeted before, uh, a couple months ago, that they would love to see Eric redo the lines for Cole in Infamous 1 if a remastered collection was ever made. This could be a big hint to that. I mean, he's got Cole McGrath sitting over there, he's making a voiceover for something, 
he says he needs some extra power, quote unquote, you know. That's a possibility, even though I don't think Sucker Punch themselves would be making the collection. Even though Billy hinted at making games, I don't think that's what they would be doing. I think Eric, if he is doing a remastered collection voiceover, would probably be working with someone else, a different studio that Sony obviously hired to make the collection while Sucker Punch works on a new game. The second thing that could happen, and this is a lot less likely than the first, is Sucker Punch could be working on a game in the infamous universe with Cole. They could bring him back. And Zack has a theory, I know you're watching this Zack, and I know you don't want it spoiled for anyone before you post it on your channel first, you're welcome. But anyway, Zack has a theory regarding the ending of Infamous 2, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Sorry for the massive tease, guys, but you'll have to wait until he releases that video on his channel so you can find out what it's all about. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. I really wanna know what you think these uh, Twitter shenanigans are and what's going on with Sucker Punch and Eric Layden. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.